and good morning, Harrow. How are you doing? It's uh, seven minutes after nine o'clock, and James Blunt with Bonfire Heart. I'm joined uh, this morning as we have our uh, Sunday brunch with Gaz Reynolds from World Domination Records. How are you doing this morning, Gaz? I'm good, thank you, Gary, and thanks for having me back on the show. I'm always happy to have you, uh, especially <laughs> you. when you're willing to brave the wet and wild weather this morning. Well, it was terrible uh, this morning. Yeah, boy, <laughs> uh, it, it, I was just getting ready to go down to my car, and there was this clap of lightning and thunder that <laughs> just had me jumped out of my skin, and then this horrible downpour. It had sort of lessened up a bit when uh, I got to the car, and, and here under the studio is sort of a steady rain, but uh, uh, we've got a, a pretty miserable weekend uh, ahead. I, a I good, heard, weekend, yeah. <laughs> good weekend to uh, stay in and listen to some great music, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, fortunately, I managed to swim here, so... Um so yeah. that was uh, that was lucky, but uh, I got to the studio and I'm fairly I've dried off now. Yeah, good. <laughs> and of course, I I'm sorry I turned on the air conditioner because it was a bit warm in here. Uh, I realize now we're sort of at polar bear uh, uh, coldness uh, <laughs> here in the cave, so I'll I'll turn that off in just a moment. Uh, but uh, we're talking about, of course, world domination records. And uh, for those that didn't hear the last interview, uh, and you know we have a variety of people listen, especially on Sunday. It's a different mix of people for Sunday. Tell us a bit about. World Domination Records. Okay, um, well, World Domination Records, I f started it up really in 2004 um, as a, a means of getting my own music out. Um, and then, of course, the internet em uh, evolution came along. And uh, just recently, we've relaunched the record label because I've got a whole load of acts on the, the label and all of them seem to be doing very well. They're all on television shows, uh, radio interviews, and um, just after your show, actually, we blogged that show, and we ended up having over three and a half million listeners online. Right. <laughs> so, uh, and then that became a global press release in itself, and, uh, and and a clip of some of the footage that was shot here was featured on the TV show. So, you're famous, Gary. Now, yes, or even and, more and famous, shall I say? Know, please, please pass the word so we can get more people on the show because uh, I love having guests, and uh, if they realize it's a stepping stone to uh, to millions of, of of listeners and viewers, then. Uh, Hopefully we get more people on. Well, exactly. On the I weekends. mean, the, the the thing is, um, as I think I said to you on the last show, um, really, radio um, now everybody's listening online from portable devices and uh, iPads and iPhones, etc. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I relaunched the label because I just felt the technology had moved on and there was a, a new fan base out there of uh, of listeners. And um, we certainly proved that because uh, just overnight. Um, one of the sites where we blog all of the videos and radio interviews and TV interviews, etc. Um, just overnight, that got over 141,000 viewings. So uh, that's pretty pretty enormous, and that's just from one website. <laughs> well, so that is doing quite well. Uh, now, of course, the the record label is specialising in a particular kind of music. Yeah, it's um, mainly dance music, but we also specialise in in alternative music what we're really looking for um, in, in alternative artists is something just completely unique and, and different and um, well we're going to be looking at some of those acts a bit later on right uh, I think we'll start off though uh, we've got uh, your own music uh, this one's called in this house that's right, right. Um, that's featured on my new single plastic girl regeneration with um, guest vocals from Viola Wills who unfortunately uh, passed away a couple of years ago but she was a very very famous disco diva in the 70s and 80s um, and she did loads of top of the pops performances and um, just global sales. Okay well uh, let's play this this is In This House uh, Gaz Reynolds here on HCRFM. <laughs>
WXCRFM. Uh, that was Gaz Reynolds and a song called In This House. Of course, we have Gaz with us here in the studio. Uh, so tell us a bit about your inspira- inspiration for that one, Gaz. Uh, that record I actually um, broke when I was 14. And um, strangely enough, I did a, a TV show a couple of weeks back where they asked me the, um, the, the story behind that song. And uh, I said, well, I was 14 when I wrote it. Then I re-recorded it. And um, then Viola Wills got involved in doing guest vocals on the track. And then a lot of people were saying, this is a great record, send it out, send it around. And uh, I didn't have a deal at the time. So I heard about a a radio promoter in West Hollywood called Harry Rosen, who used to be the head of Island Records. I sent it out to him. He called me up within about 10 days and uh, said, you're gonna have a huge radio hit out here. And he was very right about that because he got it onto commercial hit radio and it was being played alongside the likes of Eminem, um, Kylie Minogue, LL Cool J, and there's uh, quite a lot of links up on Google even now, and that was that was many years ago. Um, so uh, recently we re-recorded this track and remixed it and put it onto my new single, Plastic Girl Regeneration. Right, which of course uh, you can find uh, on iTunes, iTunes or, and, or on and Amazon, any, 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 any outlet really outlets, around the yep. world. So, and, and more information on www.worldgeneration no, World Domination uh, Records. World Domination Records. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Um, okay, now we have a, uh, the next track from, uh, that you brought in is uh, from Red K and Somiak. That's right. Um, we've got two artists uh, Red K, who's in Austria, and Somiak, who's in Peru. And uh, they're both artists signed to my label, um, both dance um, artists in their own right um, and every so often they team up together and do projects and they've uh, just uh, released this new fantastic single which is uh, really creating a, a storm everywhere at the moment and they've got a great video with it which you can watch at uh, www.worlddominationrecords.com Okay and now do you get to travel around a lot in your in your work or? I u- used to travel worldwide I've uh, been to Australia I was on KISS FM um, in Australia Dancing with the Stars in Australia um, and then uh, US, I had a huge career. That seems to be picking up again because uh, I took three years out from music and uh, have just recently come back into music. So I'm finding now I'm getting TV appearances, uh, radio interviews, and um, and there's thousands and thousands of uh, links on Google yeah. about me, stories and yeah. things. And of course, Australia is, is becoming uh, actually, I guess, uh, a bit of a leading edge uh, in music. They, they absolutely love anybody from overseas um, in Australia because basically there doesn't seem to be many artists around in Australia. They've all left. <laughs> and, you know, they come cause, here because <laughs> I know our, our director of music, uh, Shay Purenik, uh, uh He was in in yesterday. He does a show from ten to two, just after mine. Right. And talking about, I know he's a huge fan of Australian radio and listens to uh, online to different stations all the time because he he hears the newest music seems to be coming alive there first. I literally about three weeks ago. It's interesting you saying that. I had a top ten chart entry uh, with Plastic Girl Regeneration out in Australia because um, there's quite a lot of Australian networks that seem to follow me around and um, sort of jump on the bandwagon. But th- I, I found as soon as I went to Australia, I was being invited in to studios and uh, radio stations and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think if I'd been out there a bit longer, um, I would have been on a lot more. Um, and one of my artists, Bleeding Brain Music Inc., um, who you're going to hear a track from later on, he's actually based in Melbourne, in Australia. And uh, as soon as I was out there to sign him, um, he was straight on Noise TV uh, doing an interview, which can be viewed online as well. Okay, well, let's listen to this one. This is called We're Not Dead Yet uh, by Red K and Sumiak. That's right. Okay, you're listening to uh, The Sunday Brunch with Gary Walker and Gaz Reynolds joining us here on HCRFM.
Community Radio. Contact Harrow Community Radio now. Text 07950 081 296. Text a chance to your standard network rate. Email studio at hcrfm.org. Phone 0208 427 1711. Twitter at We Are HCR. Facebook. Facebook.com slash Harrow Community Radio. And good morning. This is Harrow Community Radio, and I'm here with Gaz Reynolds, 24 minutes after 9 o'clock on your uh, Sunday morning brunch. How are you doing? Uh, we've got Gaz with us. So, Gaz, we were just talking uh, a moment ago uh, about uh, lightsabers, and uh, <laughs> uh, you want to tell, <laughs> tell me about yeah, that yeah, one again? Yeah, sure, sure. Well, uh, basically, what's happened is because of the relaunch of the label, um, which we re- relaunched World Domination Records, my label, a few months ago, we decided to have some ri- really sort of high impact um, videos, um, blogs, and interviews and press. And one of the artists, he's a huge Star Wars fan. In fact, he's one of the, the guys who was on uh, We're Not Dead Yet, the single you just played. He's an, an artist in his own solo right. Um, and he wrote a track which we're going to be listening to a bit later on. And uh, the video is a huge tribute to Star Wars and uh, the, the special effects are just phenomenal. And um, the guy that directed the video, um, Juan Jimenez, um, he's one of the top swordsmen in the world and he choreograph- uh, choreographs quite a lot of uh, sword fights and battle scenes for films and TV shows. And uh, so we're really excited to have that on the, uh, the label. And again, that, that video can be viewed on uh, www.worlddominationrecords.com. Okay, and it's interesting you brought up Star Wars because I got home finally uh, last last night and I was a bit tired. And on on the television there was a a Star Wars movie. Uh, it was the the prequel to the prequel to the prequel <laughs> when Anakin Skywalker was supposed to be a small boy. Right. And the movie was so horribly dreadful that there was absolutely no question why Anakin ended up going over to the dark side. <laughs> if I had been brought up and had to sit through that movie more than once, I'd go to the dark side. You, you, I'd blow up everything in the world. You, you can't beat the first three, but I'll be interested to see what uh, Disney do with it and I really hope they don't wreck the whole thing because uh, they, I'm a big Star Trek fan as well and Star Trek they're starting to overdo now with alternative timelines and they're just repeating storylines just in a different way and uh, it's, it's like uh, yeah I, I was a bit disappointed with the latest Star Trek movie yeah. that came out I uh, I don't want to say too much because there may be people that haven't seen it yet and uh, well, yeah it was one of the I think it was the biggest grossing Star Trek film of all time so um, <laughs> and uh, it's one of the most regretful 10 pounds that I've spent <laughs> uh, in, in <laughs> so uh, the next song we ha- have up is uh, from Bleeding Brain Music Inc now that of course uh, would make me think this is going to be a bit loud <laughs> um, he's uh, Bleeding Brain Inc is uh, Inc music is um, Bleeding Brain Music Incorporated is basically an artist who has lots of different styles. Um, and uh, Greg won't, won't mind me saying this, I'm sure. He's based in um, Melbourne, in, in Australia. And um, he's a big horror fan. He's also um, a real comedian in himself. He's got a lot of sense of humour in his, his videos and his, his tracks. And. Um, but he's incorporated a lot of different sounds. So he's got an electronic sound, a punk and rock sound, um, a very dark edged sound as well. And he's combined all of these different styles together, which is why he calls himself Bleeding Brain Music Incorporated because um, it's a whole load of sounds all incorporated. A lot of um, listeners uh, absolutely love him and a lot of them just don't get it and um, he's done quite a lot of radio interviews where, 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 where that's been said to him as well and he's, he said no I get that as well so um, he's, he's a very cool guy but he's actually um, done a little message for your listeners which is um, just before the track that you're going to play. Okay, great. Uh, I guess he'd be sort of the Marmite of music then. (laughs) (laughs) You either either love him or you hate him. Uh, (laughs) I haven't made my mind up about Marmite. I'll eat it and I'll say, oh, this is great. But then by the second bite, I say, oh, this is awful. Well, look, I I love Marmite, but I know Greg will love Vegemite because that's the Australian (laughs) version. Right, yes, yes, of course, Vegemite. (laughs) 
anyway, uh, so let's uh, listen to the, uh, the, the mention here to our HCR listeners and a song called Ray Boy on HCR FM. All right, Greg here, Floyd and Brian Music Incorporated. Next song, Rat Boy, available on iTunes. A rat boy. HCR of him. That, uh, Rat Boy is the name of that song. I, I had misread the title. Uh, I, and of course, it could almost be Brat Boy. That's what, <laughs> that's what I call my son. He's listening in Nairobi. He lives in Nairobi, uh, mm-hmm. where he's in university, and I call him the Brat. So uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have to write a song about him and call him Brat Boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dave, sorry about that. I, I know I make fun of you, but you're still a good boy <laughs> at times. Uh, we're here with Gaz Reynolds, uh, World Domination Records, uh, and and uh, uh, we were just talking about uh, some of the, the current day musicians uh, and, and more so uh, the musicians that are making a comeback. Um, uh, I was watching, I, I watched a TiVo of, um, or pre-recorded um, Skybox thing of, of um, the, the Graham Norton show uh, last night where Paul McCartney was on. and. Right. Uh, of course, Paul's singing. Uh, he's getting on in years, but uh, he's got a new new song that's out and uh, actually sounded pretty good uh, in in on the show last night. Everything he's doing sounds pretty good, but um, uh, and he's definitely still got a marketplace. And uh, what I like is seeing all the old styles come back because I think all the the current artists that are kicking around for me are not the kind of thing that I really like, and they seem to be a bit artificially bred, as it were. <laughs> but most of the artists these days they seem to be promoting through YouTube and that's how they're coming up they're building their fan bases online yeah. and then um, taking that to record labels or promoters yeah. and sort of saying hey you know well you know number one uh, <laughs> on the charts right now is Miley Cyrus who uh, I mean used to be Hannah Montana her musical skills uh, I, I can't say anything because I could lose audience members <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, it's not her music that people watch Miley's videos for. It's uh, uh, the fact that she doesn't wear much in them. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, Elton John, of course, he's never really sort of been out of the music scene. But he's he always wears something uh, in his videos. Uh, he always <laughs> wears something, and often something something unusual. Mm, he's yeah. back again. And then uh, Rod Stewart's back. And I thought uh, maybe we'd take a break from your stuff and, and play Rod Stewart's latest right, song. Cool. Uh, this one's called Brighton Beach. Uh, here on HCRFM, it's uh, 33 minutes after 9 o'clock, 27 minutes away from 10. I'm here till 12 noon. Uh, just to remind you, we've got a huge day of uh, 
of, of events and music coming up for you. Uh, I'm here till 12. Hansi's in with the Midday Mix Masala, 12 to 2. Then Vic Moot comes in with all that jazz for an hour, 2 to 3. Pierre's in from 3 to 5 with the Rock and Rodeo Jukebox. Uh, Mahesh then follows 5 to 7 with the Indian Cocktail. And it's all finished off with a delicious Sunday roast. John Strick uh, in from 7 to 10 o'clock tonight uh, playing the Sunday roast. So lots of great stuff for you all day long right here from the studio on HCR-FM. Right now, here's Rod Stewart uh, and Brighton Beach, HCR, Sunday Morning Brunch. You were only seventeen You were the finest girl That my eyes had ever seen I guess you found it hard To simply just ignore This scruffy beat up working class Teenage troubadour so we fell in love And I toured your heart With my out of tune guitar You were wonderful You were mystical And the envy of all of my friends Seems like only yesterday the stars on bright blue beach Oh what a time it was What a time to be alive Remember Janice and Jimmy Kennedy and King, how we cried I sang to you the songs of Ramblin' Jack You were Greta Garbo and I was Carolac And we played so hard and we loved so hard Seemed we never ever slept they were crazy days, they were wonderful days And I loved you with all of my heart Seems like only yesterday Under the stars on bright blue beach Oh, your daddy had plans that did not include me And he won Stay away from the door And I dreamed how I dreamed I could steal your way To some far off distant shore Teenage heart lay scattered on the floor I swear to God I could not have loved you anymore And as I sit here tonight Playing with my kids Wondering where you are in this world Did you find your man? Are you happy now? Do you ever stop and think about me? Oh, how I long for yesterday Under the stars on bright 
HCRFM. Rod Stewart always brings a bit of class to anything that he does. That's called Brighton Beach. It's uh, 9.38, uh, 22 minutes away from 10 o'clock. We will have a look at the news, travel, and weather at 10 o'clock. Uh, just a quick look at weather for you now, though. Uh, if you haven't looked outside your window, it's a mixed bag today. Frequent showers, some heavy at times, some thunderstorms as well. About an hour ago, uh, I was getting ready to come into the studio, and one clap of lightning uh, almost took me out of my skin. Uh, winds as well, uh, 26 miles per hour. Uh, will be gusts uh, and uh, highs of 16, but it won't quite feel that warm with the winds. And you should keep an eye on your umbrella. Just keep it with you because when you head back to work tomorrow, we're going to have more persistent and steady rain throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, maybe clearing a bit by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, unsettled weather throughout the week. Uh, right now it's 13 degrees in Harrow. And we're with Gas uh, Reynolds uh, from World Domination Records. And uh, we, we've been talking uh, a bit about artists and uh uh, some of the new artists versus some of the uh, older ones that are, are coming back. Um, and uh, just played uh, Rod Stewart. Uh, now we've got uh, the next artist on our on our list is uh, Isaac Angel. Well, it's interesting that we've uh, just been talking about artists making a comeback because Cher's got a new album out. Oh, I forgot about Cher. Yeah, yes, she's just made yes. a comeback. And interestingly enough, this is a cover version of a Cher record called Dark Lady. Uh, but it's uh, one of my artists, first guy ever to do a cover version of this record, and we've got a phenomenal video to go with it, which is an animated video. Um, on YouTube, I had a quick look the other day, and it had something like, uh, I think it was 26,000 viewings, um, which is pretty good. Um, but um, I just signed a worldwide um, exclusive TV and video deal with my distributor in New York, and uh, so those videos on YouTube and um, various other networks that we've got them on are just about to go up a notch in viewing figures um, in the next couple of weeks. So it's big news, w which we'll be announcing on the World Domination Records website in the middle of this week. Great. Uh, www.worlddominationrecords.com. Uh, all right, so let's have a listen to this one. It's called Dark Lady on HCRFM.
HCRFM World Domination Records, uh, that one by Isaac Angel called Dark Lady. That's really nice, too. I like that. That's uh, uh, it, I mean, it takes track. me back to years ago in, in the 70s uh, when I was living in America, and I used to uh, go to discos uh, back in my, my younger days, the 70s and 80s. In my, my reckless youth, I used to work <laughs> in a hotel. Uh, I, I worked as a night manager uh, of a hotel in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, wow. And uh, on, on weekends, I would gr- get in my car and I'd drive to Rehoboth Beach, uh, which is on nice. the Maryland coast. And uh, I used to go to discos there and just uh, sort of stay in these little guest houses because I lived in the hotel. So it was, you know, you couldn't really get away from the job. You, you were constantly on duty, constantly on call. And uh, so, so it was a way to get away. And I uh, used to enjoy uh, spending some time uh, out dancing in my, my younger days. Uh, <laughs> not, not so much these days, though. <laughs> Uh, for me, uh, well, I can't say at least I'm not a t- up to strictly come dancing yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that artist, Isaac Angel, um, he's actually from San Francisco. So he's actually from your kind okay. of territory. Yeah, kind and, of. Uh, yeah. Uh, just a few thousand miles, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually do cover versions on um, World Domination Records, but we have done two, um, and uh, th- and the reason why they've come out on World Domination Records is because they were really, really good, and uh, the artist made them their own records, really, and uh, we we don't really want to reproduce anything. Right. Okay. So. Um here we are. Uh, uh, we get about 15 minutes before we go back to news. Uh, and uh, the last cut that you have from us is uh, by Red Key. Uh, Red K. Now, we heard Red K along with Somniac later. This one, I guess, is uh, solo by him. That's right. And um, this one is um, the, uh, the, the Star Wars influence track that I was telling you about. Okay. And uh, if you love Star Wars, you're going to love this video. So head over to www.worlddominationrecords.com because the lightsaber sequence in the, in the video is basically a lightsaber fight between two Jedis. Um, and uh, it's just phenomenal. But the, uh, the track is just brilliant. And Red K, who's in Austria, um, produces all his own material. And he wrote this track and then um, uh, got teamed up with uh, the video producer and director and came up with this fantastic product, um, The Legacy of the Republic, which is available on iTunes. Great. So uh, if, if you uh, want to uh, see that video, you just go to www.worlddominationrecords.com and That's you can right. uh, find the video there. Uh, if you've got your lightsaber handy at home, <laughs> uh, pick it up, uh, get ready to do uh, dance along with this one. Uh, I mean, it's especially it's, it's you know coming up uh, just after quarter to ten in the morning, so you know it, it's sort of past the breakfast and uh, you know some of the house probably get your still asleep. On first you, thing in you the morning. Can, you can do this and, and get away with it. Nobody's <laughs> going to question you. It's uh, yeah, you know, it's not like your mother-in-law is watching. Uh, we hope. <laughs> Uh, so here it is, uh, The Legacy of the Republic, or Red K, on HCRFM. Well, here it isn't, because uh, for some reason that one just came back to the track it was just on. So we're going to just try to uh, advance this CD. Advance. See if it will queue up. Uh, and that doesn't look right either. Uh, <laughs> you, you, uh, yeah, you, you might have to Techie sing live for, for just a moment. Uh, if you can just uh, <laughs> chat for a moment, uh, i got to find out why this CD isn't working I've right. taken over the show, and uh, this is Gaz Reynolds' um, Gaz Walker show. <laughs> on HCR FM. Um, yeah, but anyway, we've had a, a little techie issue here. These things do happen from time to time. So bear with us, and um, I'm sure we'll be back in just a couple of seconds with the track. How are we doing, Gary? Uh, not yet. Okay. Well, there is um, another opportunity to sing live. I suppose I could do that. Um, and with it raining so heavily outside, I could sing Singing in the Rain, but um, it's a bit early in the morning for me. So, uh, <laughs> how are we doing now? Uh, unfortunately, it only says that it's 37, not even, th- thir- it's not even a second long. I think there's a problem with the track. Oh, okay. And I don't think it's going to play, I'm afraid. So instead, I think we might have to hear from uh, a, a slightly well-known group uh, bringing you back a few years, uh, many, many years. I actually saw them live in Kansas City, Missouri uh, back, oh gosh, not 
quite 50 years ago. Uh, this is The Who in Pinball Wizard on HCRFM, where things always go right. CRFM. Uh, it's uh, 20, uh, uh, it's uh, 9.51. That would make it nine minutes away from 10 o'clock. And uh, we have sorted out the issue with the CD player. I, I was just talking, uh, The Who was playing. And uh, as I said, I saw them live in concert in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, back when I think I was like 12 or 13 years old, which is going back many, 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 many years. And at the time, I, I didn't have a clue the importance of what I was watching. And uh, quite honestly, I only remember that I was there. I don't remember the concert at all. Not even one bit of it. Um, oddly enough, the only concert that I remember, and you, you may or may not know this group, The Sticks. I've heard, I've you, heard uh, of them. The Sticks. Yeah. Uh, and they did a, a concert called, well, it was the, the one that, uh, their, one of their more popular songs probably made it here was Mr. Roboto. Right, okay. And uh, that, that show that featured the Mr. Roboto uh, called Kilroy Was Here, uh, that's one of the first concerts that I went to that I actually can remember. Um, and uh, <laughs> not because of, of, you know, there are people that go to concerts and don't remember it because of other reasons, like uh, things they may uh, have smoked or drank. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, uh, well, I have a memory of a goldfish anyway. So uh, what were we talking about? Who are you? Uh, um, uh, yes, no. right. I <laughs> know uh, we have Gaz Reynolds with us now. Uh, we're going to try Red K again. I think uh, I've I got was, it fixed. I was getting worried that, um, that we weren't going to get that track on because I was getting worried that I would have to sing Singing in the Rain. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought I was going to have to do it uh, naked <laughs> to, uh, to sort of liven up the, uh, oh, the, no, the no, slot no. Where, we, um, where we had the little techie problems. But it is a live mm. show, isn't it? So, yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, sometimes you have to improvise. Improvise and, uh, and always have a backup plan <laughs> upon backup plans. And you plans. had a very good backup plan, which yep. was The Who, a great, yep. great band. Yep, and a great track from that. Uh, anyway, uh, here it is, Red K on HCRFM. Oh, <laughs> 
On HCRFM, that was Red K and the Legacy of the Republic uh, from World Domination Records. And uh, we were talking that uh, some of the songs now, the trend is for shorter songs. That's right. And, um, and I can remember in, in my dance days that songs lasted forever. I mean, Disco Inferno uh, by the Tramps, I think, went on for 12 minutes. Right, well... D- um Going back even further than that, back into, I think it was the 50s and 60s, records were notoriously about a minute and a half long. Oh, I did an oldie show. That was my break into radio. <laughs> and, and it used to be using vinyl as well. And you had to queue up the record, and you were constantly, constantly queuing up records because they were so short. Right. And then, of course, the sort of towards the end of the 70s into the 80s, you had the 12-inch single, and everything sort of changed. And uh, But now it seems to go be going the other way, and you've got to have shorter singles and less remixes. Uh, b- back in the 80s and even into the 90s, it was a big thing to have remix after remix of the same track to make it appeal to different um, fan bases that might like a different style of, of music so you might have a pop track but then you've got to have a trance mix of it or a house mix of it uh, to make it popular yeah I mean I say I've got 9,000 songs on my iPad uh, but some of those are the same song remixed 12 different times Yeah, <laughs> and invariably I'll pick the wrong one <laughs> um, so, uh, well, I thank you very much. Uh, Gaz Reynolds has been our guest with us uh, this morning. World Domination Records uh, has some great music, uh, which you can get to uh, if you visit www.worlddominationrecords.com. And uh, songs available from Amazon, from iTunes, and any of the uh, other uh, outlets that you may want to get music from. That's right, all the major outlets around the world. Um, thanks ever so much for having me back on, Gary. It's been uh, great being back here, and, uh, and I'd like to thank all of your listeners for tuning in. I think I mentioned to you uh, earlier as well, the last show we blogged and we ended up having over 3.5 million uh, viewings um, on various sites for the show, so that was pretty good. So we're planning to do the same with this show. Great. Well, uh, we'll certainly look forward to that. And uh, we've got a look at the news and travel that coming up in just a moment. So keep it right here all morning long, HCRFM.